along came a spider. Rahul, please check the baggages. Have we collected all of them? asked his mother, standing next to the baggage conveyor at the airport. Yes, mother, all six are there. We shall leave now. Sneha, we have got the baggages. Let's leave, said Rahul to his sister. Rahul's grandfather was waiting for them eagerly at the arrival gate. Grandpa cried both Rahul and Sneha and gave him a huge hug. Something Grandpa had been waiting for a very, very long time. Oh, my dears, both of you have grown up so fast. So, we're going to rock this vacation. I have it all planned and set, said Grandfather as they walked to their vehicle. Kirti, how are you, dear? How's work? When will Surup come? Kirti smiled and said, All fine, Father. He shall arrive after two weeks. The kids are really excited to spend their vacations with you. Sure they are, he replied as they got into their vehicle. So, Rahul, Sneha, what's news? asked Grandpa. Grandpa, I received the black belt first dan for karate last month, said a proud Rahul. Oh, that's fantastic. So we have a Jackie Chan at home, said Grandpa. Only thing Mr. Jackie Chan here is afraid of spiders, cockroaches and lizards, mocked Sneha. I am not afraid. I just don't like them near me. That's all, replied Rahul, giving a threatening stare to Sneha. And Grandpa, do you know Sneha still plays with her little dolls and doll houses? Even after she has reached her eighth grade, said Rahul, returning a mocking smile at Sneha. Oh, that's okay. She is my little princess, replied Grandpa. Rahul turned grump. Sneha started wiggling her tongue and making faces. Mother, Sneha is making faces and mocking me for no reason, complained Rahul. Could the both of you remain silent and stop fighting for some time, asked their mother. They reached home. Mother, I need a hot boiling shower, said Rahul. Rahul, there is the cold shower coming straight from the well in the bathroom outside. Why don't you try it? It's really refreshing, said his mother. Mother, you know I only shower in hot water. I'll use the bathroom inside with the heater, said Rahul. He took his towel and clothes and went to take shower. The temperature of the water was perfect. Boiling hot, he thought. He lathered himself with soap all over when his eye caught hold of something on the door. He stood frozen, unable to move. A giant spider the size of his palm lay on the door staring at him, or so he thought. I'm not quite comfortable with somebody watching while I take my shower. So would you please take leave? He couldn't believe it, but he was actually speaking to the spider. The spider stood there staring at him, or so he again thought. Rahul wouldn't dare sprinkle water at it for fear of the spider taking a giant leap at him. Rahul, completely lathered in soap bubbles, spread his legs and stood in attack position with fists closed in front of his face. You think you are tough, huh? said Rahul to the spider. You have no idea about me. I have a black belt. The spider stood still and just flinched one of his eight legs. Rahul let out a cry. Rahul, all fine? asked his mother from the kitchen. Yes, mother, I I was just exercising my vocal cords. She heard him reply in a muffled tone. Thank God his vocal cord exercises ends with his shower, thought his mother. 
Rahul stood still in the same position when he saw something else moving towards the spider. It was a giant lizard. Oh, really? Of all the places in the house, the entire kingdom of insects, reptiles and arachnids have just this place to gather, he thought. That was when he noticed something else. At the corner was the web laid by the spider and in it was trapped a fly. The spider and lizard now faced each other and Rahul, still in attack position, faced the both. Gentlemen, there is always a solution. You can share the food and be friends once I leave the room. Men don't fight for food. Come on, grow up. Show some maturity here, said Rahul, facing them. Whom is he talking to? wondered Sneha, who was sitting in the bedroom. The spider and lizard moved closer to the prey. Guys, cool down. We can come up with some sort of deal or agreement, said Rahul, fearing one of them would land on him. The spider and lizard resembled the cowboys of some Hollywood movie facing each other in a gun battle, thought Rahul. All of a sudden, the lizard pounced. Rahul immediately covered his head with the bucket of hot water. He stood there with the bucket on his head for a moment. Slowly, he pulled it off to take a look. No spider lizard or fly. He wore his clothes before drying himself up and shot out of the bathroom. Woof! What was that? asked Sneha. As Rahul stormed out of the bedroom as fast as his legs could take him, ran through the kitchen and out to the bathroom outside. He came out freezing and wore the same wet clothes. Rahul did you shower with your clothes on? asked his mother, surprised. And you said you need boiling hot water, right? You were in the bathroom inside. So how did you come from out there? she asked, pointing out. Mother, it's always good to try something new, replied Rahul, gritting his teeth, freezing. I'll change and be back. Rahul put on some dry clothes. So, how many spiders were there? asked Sneha, playing with her dolls. Taking your speed of flight into consideration, I suppose there were four, she giggled. Rahul stared at her and said, You speak a word and I'm going to conduct a mass extermination of all your dolls and doll houses, threatened Rahul. You can't scare a little spider and you think you can scare me, replied Sneha. Rahul didn't say a word. They sat for lunch. Grandpa said, so guess where we are going today? To the park, said Sneha. To the mall, said Rahul. Nope. To the new zoo that has recently opened up. And guess what? They have a special area displaying different types of arachnids and insects. I have been there. It's beautiful. We shall leave after lunch. Sneha giggled and turned to look at Rahul, who sat still without blinking. Rahul thought, this certainly is going to be the most memorable vacation for me. Dear friends, hope you all enjoyed the story. Please do like, share and subscribe to the channel Short Stories for You. Please do not forget to click on the bell to be updated for more upcoming stories. Thank you.